All right, hello, my digital nomads. And it's, you know, new AI and usual era. Basically, what I'm talking about is Notion's AI, all right? So you who are new to Notion, it's note-taking or idea. Basically, it's a digital notebook where you can organize your thoughts, and it, it's free, free to use. You know, you, you have different levels, but the free one is, is you know, quite generous. And then, you know, you, you can upgrade to premium. But what you don't know or may, may not know is that they added an AI content generator uh, into the note-taking app. So if you're using it for content creation, I used to use it for, like, maybe storing, organizing my ideas and maybe um, an outline, but that's where it stopped, right? And the reason why is because you can easily, you know, just type whatever you like and then kind of, you know, move it around. And now I'm gonna, I got access to the uh, AI content creation feature and I'm gonna just demo it real quick and, and show you some of the features and some of the benefits of how you can use it. So let's say you're making an outline, you have different uh, bullet points, you can and you want to have this one as a uh, kind of dog walking. Let's say you just want to create a article on dog walking, or, or you just want to take have some kind of information on it. So you can just type in dog walking, highlight it, and then you have this new feature called Ask AI. Right. So you just you either click on Control J or just click on it right here, and then you'll have several different options. You can have uh, improved writing, fix spelling, and grammar, make it longer, make it shorter. Simple language. You can summarize it. And you can explain explain this right? and you know continue writing. I, I'm gonna you do, just go over you know because a lot of these other ones you probably know what they are. But I'm gonna go explain this. And basically, it defines what it is. Dog walking is the act of taking a dog for a walk outside, usually for exercise or recreation. Right? And then you can you can choose the next action. So you can either make it longer or continue writing. I'm just going to go ahead and continue to write. I'm going to show you. So walking a dog can be beneficial to both the dog and the owner. It provides physical activity, mental stimulation, and an opportunity to bond with your pet. Additionally, it can help to reduce the risk of obesity and behavioral issues. All right? And if you want, you can just click uh, keep on uh, continue writing. All right, walking a dog is a great way to keep them healthy and happy. It is also important to remember to take proper safety precautions when taking your pet out for a walk. Use a collar and leash. Keep your pet away from other people and animals and always supervise your pet. Finally, always clean up after your pet and be respectful of other people's property. All right, so that's that's how one way to use it. You can, you can uh, start it. You can go ahead and uh, <clears throat> use it to to summarize things or to define things. And you can also translate. I I will do, uh, let's see, I'm gonna go with make longer. Right? So here it just basically takes a topic and, and, and creates an article. So walking a dog can be a great way to get out and enjoy uh, some fresh air and exercise. Going for a walk with your pup can be a great way to bond and get to know each other better. Plus, it's a great way to keep your pup healthy and active. Not only that, but it's a great way to meet other dog owners and socialize with your pup. You can also explore your local area and discover new places and sites. Uh, whether you take a short stroll or an extended hike, dog walking is a great way for you and your pup to spend quality time together and get some exercise in the process. All right, and then you can just click click, uh, click on continue to write. So this is the AI feature that's kind of like I would say it's kind of hidden or not really not really known, but I think it's a great fit for Notion. It, it, it's a really good uh, you know, kind of value added service uh, because Notion is a great note taking app, and a lot of times you want to look up stuff or you just want to maybe use it to for content creation. Well, here you go, and now now you have an AI built into it that basically uh, checks your grammar, it answers questions, and it creates content. Uh, all, all in all, if you want to know the quality of objectively, I'm going to take a snippet of this. I'm going to go to Grammarly uh, Premium. I'm going to go to a new document, and I'm just going to paste it, and that way you can, you can kind of get an objective 
kind of objective feel of the quality that comes out of Notion AI. Now, mind you, this is still kind of in the testing phase and things may, may change, things may improve, you know, so just keep that in mind. But as of right now, I just want to kind of give you an idea of, of what the output is going to be like by using a third party AI to grade it. So let me see. Okay, here we go. All right, press control V. I'm gonna set it to the defaults, okay? Click on done. And right off the bat, the snippet that it produced, uh, produced um, a 97 overall score with Grammarly, okay? And then if you go down, its correctness is look, looks good. Clarity is most clear. Engagement is pretty engaging and delivery is pretty decent. Now, the most important thing, other than the readability is also the um, plagiarism, right? So let's go ahead and check that out. And let's see how unique this, this piece is. So it's 14% plagiarized and 7% of the text matches the source. So it's 86% uh, Eighty-six percent unique. That's that's pretty good. That is pretty good. Now, you, overall, you, I would recommend you go ahead and and kind of change where it's highlighting that uh, it matches other sources, so you can get a higher, you know, unique score or, or lower plagiarism score. I try to aim for you know nothing over ten percent. Ten percent, you know, is, is where I aim for. Fourteen is a bit high, right? And then. I just rewrite the the problem areas. That's what I would recommend you anyone do. Okay, just don't use as is, <laughs> because remember a tool is only as good as the operator, right? So that's my introduction to Notion AI. It's it's really uh, for those of you who are interested in a in a in an AI um, content generation <clears throat> or content writer. I would go with Notion AI. It, it, right now, you, you can go ahead and try it out. Now, there's a waiting list, I believe, to, to test it out. But um, you know, if you're into content writing like I am, or if you're a student doing academic work and you got to organize your essay, now, this is great for outlines. Like hands down, it's probably the, the great for outlines. And, and now that it has an AI content writer for you to, have to help you research, or to help you organize your thoughts, or to fill, you know, you got to fill out certain sections of your your article or essay. It's really good for that. Um, is it like uh, the best? I, I wouldn't say it's the best, but I, I'd say it's it's a solid. Uh, it's it's a pretty decent AI overall. I, I think uh, if it if they continue to improve it, it's definitely you know worth checking out at the very least. All right. So I hope this video was helpful. If it was, could you please hit that like button? I'm Vince from Digital Man Institute. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next video.